What's good everybody? Welcome back to Cadillac Cartoons and today I'm going to show you how to draw someone sitting in a wheelchair. Now drawing someone in a wheelchair, it may seem like, oh it's just another character design or whatever, but actually you're pretty much drawing a character plus a vehicle kind of thing. But you're pretty much drawing a character sitting on a device that can be classified as kind of like a vehicle. So this will be a little bit challenging, but do keep in mind that if you browse the internet looking for a picture of a wheelchair or whatever to use as reference, you may see different ways that a wheelchair may be drawn or built or whatever. So that way when you look up reference photos, you'll probably start sticking to one. Then you might want to switch to another and then you notice that the wheelchair looks a little bit different so it'll kind of throw you off. So do keep in mind that wheelchairs do look different. But for this video, I'm going to draw a wheelchair that looks something like this. So it's going to look kind of isometric, if you know what that means. So we're not going to base this wheelchair shape on perspective, per se. We're actually going to base it off of a few lines that go in this direction, a few lines that go in this direction, and a few vertical lines like this. So we got one, two, and three to help keep it simple. So we're not exactly gonna start off drawing the wheelchair. We're actually gonna start off drawing the person sitting in the wheelchair. So we're not exactly gonna start off drawing the wheelchair exactly. We're actually gonna draw someone at a sitting position to make things a little bit easier. So I'm gonna do that really quickly in time lapse and then I'll come back to you guys. All right, so here's our sitting pose or whatever. I left out the arms in case I wanna add an armrest to the wheelchair. So that we can determine later on in the video. But for now, we're just gonna leave that blank for now. Okay, so now we're gonna take our ruler and make a certain line on this section for the knees. Now that exact line that we just made, we're gonna do the same thing throughout. So we're gonna have it at, like, at the foot rest down here. And then another one, because it's a platform. And then another one up here. And then another one for the seat, I guess. Okay, now we're gonna keep following this design. I'm gonna leave that there. It might... <laughs> It might shift while I'm making this video, so I apologize for that in advance. But now let's make some vertical lines, lines that go up and down like this. So now we're, we're pretty much going to connect the lines at this stage. Now right here is a good spot too. And now at this point and this point, you probably can't see it because the leg's there, but I drew a dot right there. We're going to connect those points with the two ends of this line. Or ne not necessarily at the ends, but just so it looks nice. Put it that way. Okay, now we're going to make a dot where those lines intersect over here as well all right and now this bottom line right here where the footrest starts we're gonna draw a dot right there because that part from here is gonna be slanted a bit because you see how in my little uh, thumbnail that I made it's a little bit slanted so that's why I'm gonna make it like that and then make sure this other line is parallel to it And then from that dot, we can kind of match the proportion of the feet like this with these lines. And then make sure the line that we draw over here is parallel to this one. All right, so we pretty much got the entire wheelchair down, but it's missing the main part, which are the wheels. We haven't drawn a section for that yet. But now we're at the stage where we can. So now I'm gonna line up my ruler with this vertical line that I drew and just extend it down. 
and the same thing over here. I might not use whatever portions over here because you know the legs are covering it up. All right, and now we're gonna pick a stopping point, which is the ground. So let me shift this up. And so you see this line that we drew here and here, if you can see it, we're gonna draw a line towards the ground that matches it. So it's gonna be parallel as well. Okay, now I'm gonna create a dot right here. But where are we supposed to make this line on this side? Hmm. So you see this line right here? We're gonna make that same line down here from this point. And now we can draw it. So we're gonna, that dot right there where they intersect, and draw that line. Okay. Now it looks like a Da Vinci drawing. All right, so now I'm gonna make like another parallel line for the wheels, the wheels that go in front, like down here, like the smaller wheels, like what this is. But first I can make the armrest like this. Point where it's parallel. Okay, now since this portion right here is the ground, we can begin to make a circle, or in this case, an ellipse. So we're gonna set the ruler aside for now, and I'm gonna draw the wheel. I'm gonna try to get it as perfect as possible. Obviously it's not perfect right now, but still like a ellipse or an oval. That's one wheel. The other one we might not see much of because again, the legs are covering it up. So I'm gonna attempt to make another wheel. You can continue drawing the other one so, um, so we know that it touches the ground like the other one. Only problem is you might end up with a million lines everywhere that might confuse you. So just be aware of that. Anyway, so now we're gonna pick like the middle point, the center of these ellipses, which is about right here. And then from there, we can make that same parallel line right here. So that way we know that the two centers are lined up right. Okay, and now I'm gonna take this point a little lower, not off of this wheel, but it helps as a guide to make the smaller wheels that go right here. So I'm gonna make that same parallel line again. So here's our point parallel line right there. And then this, this one down here will be the ground, so that way we have somewhere we can work from. But so let's draw another point right here. And now we can draw our smaller wheel. And then we have our little beam that we use to connect that wheel with the back part of the wheelchair. So it looks like the majority of the guidelines that we need are pretty much drawn already. So now we can start constructing the frame of the wheelchair. Like you see all these lines that I have in my thumbnail? We're gonna start making those into an actual wheelchair. Cause we have all the guidelines, all we gotta do really now is to draw it in. Okay, so the armrest will be different. So I'll save, so I'll save that for last. So we got the one connecting to this wheel. And then I'm gonna try to provide a little emphasis on the axle. Okay, so now, okay, so hopefully now you can see everything drawn already. The wheels I haven't really focused on just yet because, you know, like I said, I was just drawing the frame of the wheelchair, getting that in place, and then worry about the wheels in case I need to change something about the frame. So what we are gonna stop and do now is to do the handlebars. 
So, we're pretty much going to do exactly what we did last time. And by using the guidelines like this, just make it parallel. Like, here's this point right here, and this point here. Like that. Make the other line parallel. And then the rest is easy. And you can just make like little uh, grippers on the handlebars. And yeah, that's how you do the handlebars. So now we can go back to the wheels. So now I can add like a outer edge of the wheels. But you know what, before I do that, I'm gonna make another line below this one to indicate the ground. And we're not gonna see much of that side because the legs are covering it up. So I'm just gonna continue doing the frame of the wheel. At least I think it's called the frame, but something close to it. And then I'm kind of enlarging this other wheel, the smaller one. And now I'm going to provide some depth to it. So I'm going to make another parallel line to this one on both wheels. Provide some emphasis there for the axle. And then let me erase some of these lines because it's overwhelming now. And on a typical wheelchair, it's okay to add spokes to the wheels. But for this video, I'm not going to. Because like I said from the beginning, all wheelchairs are made differently. So you can choose to add spokes to it. But then you're left with all these other lines that you got to draw in. Maybe first or afterward. But I'm going to keep it simple by leaving it like this. So it doesn't look like I have a lot of room to put the arms in, so I'm not going to focus on those at all in this video. But what I am going to do is, since I brought that up, I am going to provide some comfort to the armrests. Like here's one. And each place where the lines intersect, I'm going to erase those and try to connect those. Because let's just assume these are like a metal frame for a wheelchair. So what I'm pretty much doing is I'm welding them together, if you know what that is. So just uh, getting all those in together. And just refining every other detail that I need to. Not so much focusing on the care, even though that's what I just did. And just make sure the footrest is in line. All the other guidelines that we don't need, we can erase all those. And in fact, let me get rid of all of them. But first, I'm going to ink it. So, let me do that. All right, and that's how you draw someone in a wheelchair. And if you wanna do this for yourself, do keep in mind that this will take practice because it took me a while to do this myself. Even if you do practice, please have patience because earlier in this video, it was overwhelming with lines, especially in this area. So again, just keep that in mind. But other than that, that's the end of the video. If you liked it, give it a like and a comment. Subscribe if you haven't and tap the notification bell so you never miss an upload. And I'll see you in my next video.